Hi, uh, today's video is regarding something new. This is not regarding aquascaping. Uh, other than aquascaping, I also have few plants. I love them. I take care of them. Today morning, I find out that uh, my ZZ plant, that is Zamiocalcus zamifolia, is suffering from root plant. ZZ plant is a very beautiful plant come from a dry region. Let me show you the picture. This is a house plant and doesn't re require much of sunlight and also you, it doesn't require too much of watering. Root rot generally takes place because of the overwatering. I don't know whether I have overwatered it or not but I find out root rot is taking place. Now, there is a rhizome and from that rhizome all the stems come out in a zizi plant and today morning I find out this. I think you can see it. See the rhizomes are coming out because of the root rot and this happens when you have watered your zizi plant too much. I was sad but I decided I have to salvage them. I have reported the zizi plant and what to do with this? I will try to propagate them using water. So this video is regarding how to propagate zizi plant using water. So let me show you how I am going to do that. So these are the things that I will be using. A glass container. Uh, these are the stems of the zizi plant and I will be using a little bit of aquatic zone or any kind of fertilizer. This is an aquarium fertilizer. So what I will be doing, I will be first adding a little bit of water, not much. Then this is carbon supplement. iron and other stress element and finally the be brighty different kind of stress element so these are the liquid fertilizer i have given next is important when i will be putting them in the stems i will get rid of the slimy portion that means the portion which is suffering from the Check it. Yeah, this is not slimy. It's all right. Put it like this. The water should be out of the water. Sorry, the, uh, the the leaves should be out of the water. Again, this one you can check. I think no, it is not good here. Yeah, this much. So here I am taking off this and these leaves and then putting it. Sorry. This one, this one is much better condition. Yes. Let me put it like this. And finally, this is a pretty new leaf, like this. I don't want, I don't want these leaves to actually go under water. So I will place it in some way so that it should stand. So, done. Now time to wait few days. Hope within few days the roots will be coming out and if they come out, I will report them. 
so i waited almost uh, one month for the stems to develop their root of this easy plant let us see what has happened can you see the roots are developing focus 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 sorry i think you can see now the roots have developed but one thing i must say this is a very very slow growing plant uh, if you lose patience you cannot propagate it it took me i already told you one month so i think it's time to replant them in soil so let us do that so this is a mixture of uh, sand compost and soil drainage is very important so i'm adding perlite to it and mix them well one part each of everything one part soil one part compost one part sand and one part perlite time to pot So done, hopefully they will grow big in few months. <laughs> 